Mr. Style here for DJ Tech and Hardware and I just thought I would show you quickly. Um, I'm just going through a motherboard change and I'm actually about to mount this up into the end case. Um, this is obviously the ASRock uh, X99E-ITX slash AC, um, which is the new X99 ITX motherboard. Um, there's been some controversy around this socket this socket because it's a, a slim socket, it's not a standard design and there's been a lot of people saying um, they're not happy with it or they think it's a silly idea because of limited cooling options. Um, so I just thought I'd show you how, how I'm using it. Noctua do offer a lot of slim mounts. Um, so if you're gonna use a Noctua air cooler, you should be fine with this motherboard. Um, it, this is the bracket that comes with it um, and they do say that it works with the Cooler Master all-in-one liquid coolers. Um, EK also do a slim mount if you wanted to use one of their water blocks you should be fine. Um, but I already had the H100 and I didn't think it was going to fit but um, it, it seems that it does. So it, it's a little bit of a tight fit over the threads. You're not modifying, you're not risking breaking anything, it's just you you need to sort of squeeze it over. But one thing you do need to do is, so this is it here. Ignore the thermal paste that I've already got on, it's just, I'm just in the middle of moving it. But one thing you do need to do is when the mount is over the block, um, the other blocks must be a little bit taller. So when it's fully clamped down, it, it doesn't actually hold up against the block so what you need to do is just space this bracket off the block a little bit so that gives it a little bit more clamping force down into the block and over the CPU and the way that I did that is I had these little spaces that I actually used on the back of the H100i because there's some some common issues where it, again it won't clamp down tight enough on the motherboard so these were actually behind the motherboard on the old system to space the back plate off to again give more clamping pressure. So all I basically do is I've got these little rubber washers. I just cut these off um, the silicon bending tube for bending acrylic tube, but these little washers are bit, they're probably two and a half mil, two, yeah, two and a half. If you go three mil, you're probably fine. You could use all kinds of stuff. You could use a rubber strip or whatever, but I just put them into these sections here a little bit fiddly, but it's not nowhere near impossible. I just pop them on these sections here, and that spaces the bracket off the block, so that when you clamp it down, it then gives um, adequate clamping pressure onto the CPU. So, and then that just goes on like that. Hopefully that's in shot, I'll just show you. So bring this over, and I literally just, just pop them in there all the way around, just like that. And then the bracket just slides on over and that's it. And then they just sit in there and then that supplies um, adequate clamping force for the H100 to be used on the ASRock X99 ITX AC. So I thought that might be useful if you were considering this motherboard. So just a quick one for you. Thanks guys, take it easy.